Hi students, welcome back to Google Classroom of Sri Gokulam Public School, Guru Vayu. How are you children? Hope you all are fine over there. Today we will start a new chapter in politics that is chapter 6, Rural Administration. In this chapter, we will look at two important aspects of rural administration that is maintaining law and order and maintaining land records. Both are very essential for managing rural administration. The importance of these two tasks has been discussed through a short story in the chapter. Now we will understand the key points of this story. In the story, two farmers are there, Mohan and Regu. Their lands are next to each other and separated by a small boundary called a bunt. And Ragu belonged to a rich family with many fields. And his uncle was also the serpent of the village. One morning, Mohan noticed that Regu had shifted the bunt by a few feet. By doing this, Regu had managed to take over some of Mohan's land and increase the size of his own field. When Mohan confronted Regu, he was beaten up by Regu's servants. Then the neighbors saved Mohan. The neighbors recommended filing a written complaint with the local police station. Why Mohan filed a complaint in the local police station? It is because the police station is the body responsible for maintaining law and order and also handling disputes, conflicts and complaints. Then one of the neighbors asked, why don't we go to the main police station in the town? It is because every police station has an area that comes under its control. So, all persons in that area can report cases or inform the police of happenings in that area. That means, a case can be registered only in that police station which is responsible for that area. And, it is the responsibility of the police of that station to enquire, to investigate and take action on the cases within its area. Then, who is the person in charge of the station called? Station House Officer or SHO. When they went to the police station, they faced problems in registering the complaint also. At first, the SHO refused to write down such a minor complaint. Then Mohan showed him his injuries. But SHO refused to believe him. When the neighbors insisted that the case be registered, then the officer wrote down the complaint. And SHO also said that he would send a constable the next day to investigate the matter. Then children, here in the story, you saw that Mohan and Regu were arguing heatedly whether the common boundary of their fields had been shifted. But actually, are there any records that show who owns what land in the village? Yes, measuring land and keeping land records is the main work of the Patwari. The Patwari is known by different names in different states. They are Lake Pal, Kanugo, Karmachari, Village Officer, etc. But in this chapter, we are using the term Patwari. Then, how does the Patwari measure the land? The Patwari usually has ways of measuring agricultural fields. And in some places, a long chain may be also used for this purpose. And here in the story, the Patwari would have measured both Mohan's and Regu's fields and compared them with the measurements on the map. If they did not match, then it would clear that the boundary of the fields had been shifted. And this is one of the duty of the Patwari. And he also have so many other duties. We will discuss about it in the next class. So students, I hope all of you understood the concept clearly. And please note that the notes of the lesson and test paper are also attached along with the class. Make use of these available materials. Study well and attend the test paper without fail. That's all for today. Thank you.